he Googled it up. He said, hey, Dad, you're going to be the oldest. Oh, said, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I'm proud of that for the sense that uh, I like to say to older people listening in on this that you too can, can have opportunities to do this if you put your mind to it, train for it, and train your body to be good, and uh, you'll have success. Uh, I was going to Winnipeg heading for Edmonton, and uh, the fellow uh, was a Turkey Cypriot. He lost his two brothers in the war in, in Cyprus, and he wanted to go back uh, to make up for his, his brother's death. I can understand that, but as you know, you don't do what he did. Uh, he grabbed on the way up towards Edmonton, he grabbed one of my flight attendants and got her in the bat galley with a knife and he stabbed her several times. And uh, ultimately, I talked him into going to Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, halfway to Edmonton, and we landed there. And by the time we landed, he cooled down quite a bit and I was able to talk him out of the uh, hijack. At age 80 to be, uh, I'm still enjo really enjoying my life. and. Uh, when it ends, I don't know, but I'll enjoy it right to the last. And uh, so I'm very grateful to be here. This is my last big pinnacle to solve in my shooting career, and I'm going to solve that riddle this week. <laughs> <laughs> my hopes in the event's very simple. Podium. And that's it. I'm going home. I'm going to walk off the podium and fly home a very happy man. 